Alright, this is a well, I think it's a Pacer 100 uh, Austin Western. It's got Cummins 130. Anyway, got a giant crack in it. Let me see if I can get that pan off. It doesn't look like it's going to be possible. But we'll give it a shot. Replacement pan I found has the oil fill on the other side. So let's see how that works out. I'm going to take this bypass cooler oil cooler off, or bypass oil filter off. Got the bypass filter off. Comes out of the top and goes down into a little T here. Looks like I'll have to fix plug that. And that's probably the oil pressure line. All right, there's that crack. I'm gonna try and get this oil pan off. I got a bunch of 9 16th head bolts to remove. I'm not sure if these are all the same length or not. Now she's falling. Take these out on the other side. Sneaking up here in the back. It looks like these are missing right here. this off a little half inch bolt right there not for sure that's the only one there has been 9 sixteenths getting these over here just don't know if that's gonna be possible or not right there yeah this is not gonna happen is it I'm not sure if I recorded that or not. Anyway, take these two cap bolts off and see if I can lift the uh, engine up to get these two front bolts in the oil pan. Okay, got those out. This just lifts right off. Now what do I do? I don't know. Well, that's actually seamed. I could, I might be able to, I well, we can't see it, but there's a bolt right here. Might be able to loosen that and actually just slide this forward. It's not too tight. Okay, I think I'm just gonna load this on the trailer. Jacking this blade up. With two bottle jacks. And I'm gonna chain it up. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the scare fires and hopefully winch it up on my gooseneck. I can get down on this Cummins uh, 130, I think it is. I'm gonna try and pull the head. I probably won't get that far today. Some storms are coming in. I'm pretty sure this engine's got a busted. I think what happened is, is rain came down the exhaust, went into whatever cylinder it could. And froze and busted a liner would be my guess, but I'm interested to get inside and see if I can find out more. A little crusty. 
Yeah, I see some scenting water in there. That's some big old bolts. It's gonna need some serious. I put coolant in this, but you know, I don't know where it went. That was kind of stupid. Okay, I think I'm gonna need something a little bigger. Actually, that, that head's already loose. Uh, just by taking the bolts loose. So I'll take these, I'll break the injector lines off and uh, I think I'm going to need some equipment to move this. See if we can loosen these lines. Nice. Oh, that one's rounding. Bummer. That dude is rounded. I don't know if I can fit a tent on there. Well, cross your fingers. Oh, good. Everybody's loose but you. Come on. Oh man. Okay. That's hmm. That's that's antifreeze. That's antifreeze in the injector lines. That's not a good sign. I think this head is movable. Not by me, but something. I guess that's. Oh, it's so heavy. I probably could leave these. Ugh, that's not good. What do you think? Water? Water in the... I don't know. Let's check. They got part numbers on them.
of damage the radiator looks okay gave it a pretty good shift forward yeah i think she's all right okay wow nice what do we got here we got antifreeze in here some sh goo Oh, it burns. Oh, some O rings for the head. Head gasket. Got some critters living in there. Some frogs. Looks like diesel. Wire this up for now. Oh, oh, oh it's so heavy. Oh. 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 Contemplating eliminating this filter completely. I think that, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's got like a pump style thing on it, so if it's a pump, I don't know how it works. Anyway, I think the book said it was just a filter. And I think somebody's adapted a, a modern, a more modern filter uh, to it after this filter. Yeah, the injection return comes back to this reservoir. So that would have to be plumbed back to the tank, I believe. We'll see. Just thinking out loud. Hi, Emily. Hi, Dad. Oh, this is a really perfect hot day. It is a hot day, isn't it? Taking <laughs> this clutch pin out. Taking the whole thing loose. What's a bee trap? I don't know, but uh, you need to have some there kind of go. bee trap to put your. Oh yeah, we need a lemon filter. I don't have that. Yeah. Okay, I think this thing's gonna move. Let's see if I can get. I'm either gonna take it off of here, which that doesn't look possible or practical. I don't know. We'll see. That'd be ideal to get this off. 
That way I don't hit this and I can get me a hair more clearance coming out so I don't have to slide the engine forward. Oh, there we go. Squatted the front end of that tractor. Some Ironman tires. Yeah, this seemed to work out pretty good. I think that was a good idea. Everything looks okay over here. And everything looks acceptable over here. Let's so see what we got over here. Let's see here, how much damage I did over here. I think that, that looks all right. This I was hitting, that was making me nervous, but man, that's pretty solid. I think everything else looks okay. Yeah. Do some cleaning in here. All right. 